If you want to know why I look slightly exasperated, is because I've filmed two of these already. This is the third and last one of the night. We're going to open up this Pokemon Ultra Beasts GX Premium Collection box. I'm recording this right after the, both the Shining Fates uh, Pikachu V and the Champion's Path Double V. So, this box is easier to open because you can actually just like... Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. You could just open it. You don't have to fucking rip it apart. Okay, so this one's bit different. A little bit different. So, let's, uh, let's go ahead and pull that off there. Um, I'm going to take this, uh, they just want you to pull this out? Oh, you could just out through the top, I guess. Let's get this giant Feramosa GX out of here. There we go. Yeah. So, Feramosa GX Jumbo. Pretty cool looking card. Um, I think this is my first Ultra Beast. I don't have any Ultra Beast cards. There's a code for me. I'm going to go ahead and just keep that. I'm sorry I haven't been giving away codes. Again, just on my own time I've been playing the online game. Um, as part of this, you get your own play mat. Um, yeah, I mean, it feels just like a basic ass mouse pad, honestly. But, you have the Ultra Beasts on it. Or at least, some of them. You don't get all of the Ultra Beasts on this play mat. I don't know what I'm going to use this for, honestly. Um,. Oh, maybe when I'm opening packs, I can just swap out my mouse, my mouse pad in this, I guess. That'd be... I feel like that would be more interesting than just, you know, my keyboard and the black mouse pad. Uh, this will just go right here for now. Alright, we have a bunch of packs in here to open up. Let me just grab them out right quick, because we do have a few more things in this box. We have a very bad condition Feramosa GX mini card. Look at that curve. I don't know if you can see that curve, but it's pretty fucking bad. Um, but still, we got a Feramosa GX. Not centered very well. Um, but we, you know what? We will give it a sleeve because I'm nice. And it will go into a binder, which will hopefully strain it out. The other promo card... The Celestela, and it's also kind of curved, which sucks, but once again, it'll go chuck it in the binder. Centering on this one is pretty good all around, so we're going to go ahead and put this one in a sleeve. Now I'm conflicted because I hard case my VMAX cards. I don't know if I should hard case the GX cards. Um, I'll figure that out at some point. We have one more thing. Just one more thing. We have a coin with Feramosa on it. Big deal. I don't use them, really. But we have... Okay, how many packs here? Let me just count the packs and then I'll tell you what we have. We have eight packs. We have... Two, Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion. There we go. We have one Sun and Moon base. We have an we have an X and Y Steam Siege. We have an X and Y Fates Collide. We have XY Evolutions. We have a Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. And Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. Now, the reason I just wanted to say, I probably should have said this at the beginning of this segment, but um, the reason I bought this is because I was waiting for the pre-order for the Shining Vates to come into GameStop, and this was one of the only things on Pokemon Center that I could find that, was in, that they had in stock and readily available, so I grabbed it. And it got here in like two days. Holy shit, Pokemon. <laughs> That's fast shipping. Anyway, enough chatter. Let's open the packs. This is the segment of the show where we open the p the packs. I'm, you know what? That's just gonna be the intro. I don't care anymore. 
We're going to start here. We're going to start with a Crimson Invasion pack. Let's go. Can we get anything good? I don't know what to expect in Crimson Invasion. But, hopefully something good. Okay, so, take that code. We're going to go three to the front. Getting rid of thing? Darkness energy. Cool, okay. It was sun and moon. I didn't know exactly what to do. We have a devoured field. We have a fighting memory. Laron. Jang mo -O. Got a Mankey. We have a Remoraid. We have a Magikarp. We have Stuffle, one of my favorite boys. We have a Reverse Mischievous. And on the back, we have a Sylvalli GX. <laughs> what? We got a GX right off the bat? Oh my god. If you guys saw the, uh, the Champion's Path video, I was getting crazy luck. I had four good hits right in a row. I, what what is this? I don't know if this is continuation of luck or what this is that's crazy I did not expect a GX right off the bat. You know what that gives me hope that gives me pretty good hope Let's open up the other crimson invasion pack that we have from this box Getting better at max mofoing these fucking packs Take the card or take the code. We're gonna go three to the front and we're going to guess that this is a water energy. It's fairy. So, we have another devoured field. Another fighting memory. Another layer on. Duplicate pack. Corfish. Mencino. Weedle. Really like that artwork. That's cool. We got a Cubone. We got a Salandit. We have a reverse Houndoom. Looking real fierce. And on the back, we have a Beware. Okay. So, the luck might have worn off, um, but we're going to test that, and you know how we're going to test that, because the next pack that we're going to open is Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. Legend has it that you could, you can find a Charizard worth 500 United States dollars in this pack, or in this set, rather. Hopefully in this pack, that would be fucking awesome. I would literally, I will literally scream if that happens, alright? I will literally scream. And probably break, do irreversible damage to my microphone. Three to the front. We're gonna guess that this is a fighting ground. It's a fire. That's fine. Alright, so we have Simiseer on the front. We have a Porygon 2. We got a Charmeleon. We have a Tynamo. We got Crab Brawler. Inkay. We got a Lediba. We have a Caterpie, one of my favorite bugs. We got a Reverse Scolipede, and on the back, a Raquinid. Okay, that's fine. We have plenty of more packs to go through, boys and girls, and those of a non-binary persuasion. Let's open Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. Not sure what to f look for in this set, this is one I haven't opened a lot, so I'm not sure. As will be the case with the, all the X and Y sets. So, bum bum bum. And water. It's ground fighting again. So we have a choice band. We have a field blower. We got a Soto Wudo. We have a Cottony. Alolan Sandshrew, one of my favorite Alolan forms. We got a Mudbray. An Alolan Geodude, one of my least favorite Alolan forms. We have a Machop. Reverse Chansey, just taking a stroll through the woods. And on the back, we have a fucking Tapu Coco GX. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and give him a sleeve. As well as our Reverse Chansey. Because as you guys, if, in case you don't know by now, I am kind to all of my hollows. Whether they're reverse GXs, VMAXs, secret rares. Secret rares get special treatment. They get the hard case. Alright, so we have... Alright, you know what? Let's just finish out the Sun and Moon with the Sun and Moon base set. Go ahead and just max mofo this one as well. Gah! 
or not. All right, well, that's fine. I haven't tried for a premium crack in a hot sec. Can I even, yo, can you like just open please? That would be sick. There we go. A premium crack, there we go, we have one. Uh, it's been a couple of videos. Oh, just rip it down the spine. It rips so good. Oh, perfect. Just perfect. All right. So, we're going to go three. And, of course, we're going to guess that this is a psychic. It's water. Hey, hey. All right. So, we have an Araquanid. We have an EXP share. We got Spinda just hanging. We have a Litten, my favorite boy. We got a Young Goose. We have a Surskit. We got a Wingle, Pop Leo, our reverse is Lillipup, a very cute Pokemon. I love this one so much. And on the back we have a Kangaskhan Holographic. Holographic's very subtle here. I kind of like it. I dig that a lot. So that's, uh, well, it's not three in a row, but we did get a GX and a Holographic back to back. That's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and put all the sun and moon bulk in a deck box right quick. And then we're going to move on to, you know what? Let's just do X and Y Steam Siege and get it out of the way. Oh, look at that. Just opened real easy because nobody's buying this set anymore. I don't even care if I fucked up that, uh, that manky on the front here. I don't even give a shitting heck. Okay, so, boom, boom, boom. Wait, do you do that with X and Y? I don't know. Um, I don't think there's energies on the back. There might be. Anyway, we're going to go with a Pokemon Ranger. We have an Anorith. Ninja Boy. We got a Mankey. We have a Fungus. We have a Nidoran Male. Oshawott. Ponyard. Reverse Tangrowth. Very cool, very nice. And I, oh, oh, I thought that was, oh man, I thought that was Charizard for a second. We have a Vulcanian EX. Okay, there are no energies in X and Y. Look at this. Oh man, that is a cool looking card. It's cut pretty well too. Maybe a little uh, light on the bottom there, but holy shit, look at that, dudes. And I, it's got the split type fire and water. I don't know what that means, but that's awesome. Always down for more EX cards. So next up, we're going to do X and Y Fates Collide. We're going to save the evolutions for last. See if we have a hit at the Charizard. These packs just open so well because nobody's buying them. <laughs> Except for me. And also, I didn't, like, I didn't buy these packs willingly. Well, I did, because it was the only thing on Pokemon Center that was in stock, but you know what I mean. We have a Bent Spoon to start things off with. Don't want to eat your cereal with that. We got a Zygarde. We have a Chaos Tower. That's interesting card. Huh. That's interesting. We have a Mincino. We have a Wismer. Gathita. Raolu. We have another Cottony. We have a reverse white Kyurem. And on the back, we have Exploud. I didn't know. Is white. Is this a shiny Kyurem? I don't know. I, hmm. Why is it white Kyurem? Also, it's water type? I'm confused. Is this a black and white 2 thing I don't understand because I haven't played black and white 2? Leave an answer in the comments. All right, we're going to open X and Y Evolutions. Even though this is a reprint pack of the first set, the Charizard in here is still worth quite a hefty chunk of change. Uh oh, my I've been recording for so long, my screens went, went off. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead. Three to the front. And... We got a potion. We have a Metapod. Professor Oak's Hint. We have a Ponyta. We have a Magnemite. 
We got the fat rat himself, Pikachu. He has value, I'm pretty sure. I think all Pikachus have value. We have a Machop. We have a Weedle. In the reverse slot, we have a Vulpix. And on the end, we have a Blastoise EX. M Blastoise EX. Because he's a Mega Blastoise. That's really cool. We got a lot of good shit in this box. That's insane. Um, we only got... As far as Ultra Beasts go, we only got the two. <laughs> so let's go over stuff. Here's all the stuff from X and Y. We have an M Blastoise, Vulpix, White Kyurem, Tangrowth, and Volcanian EX. And then from all the Sun and Moon stuff, we have... Kangaskhan, Lillipup, Chansey, Tapu Koko GX, Skolipede, Houndoom, Mistrevis, Silvalli GX, he's not an Ultra Beast, apparently. Uh, Celesteela GX and Feromosa are only two Ultra Beasts in this Ultra Beast box. Interesting. Interestingly enough. So, thank you guys so very much for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, please consider subscribing. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.